Now there's a story about Pretty Polly, and it's a little bit different from that song. And I think I'm just going to tell you the story because I like the story better. You see, in this story, this new fellow had moved into Pretty Polly's settlement, and uh, he was courting Pretty Polly. Well, he got her to agree to meet him out in the wilderness late one night. Well, now when Polly got out there to meet him, that fellow, he wasn't anywhere around. So Polly, she started uh, looking around. Went in this little old cabin. Well, wasn't nothing in that cabin, but there was a table set. Looked like uh, somebody was fixing to come to dinner. Polly was pretty hungry, so she picked up a piece of meat and started eating. Mm. Tasted all right. She couldn't figure out what kind of meat that was. She ate that piece and started to pick up another one, but it looked too much like a person's hand. <laughs> she put it back real quick. Well, Polly, she started poking around. All at once she heard a boy say, Ah, don't go in there, pretty Polly. You'll lose your heart's blood. She looked around, saw it was an old parrot sitting up on a perch. Ah! <laughs> Polly, she didn't pay any attention. She just tried a door, but it was locked. Well, directly, she started to go up this stairway. That parrot said, Ah! Don't go up there, pretty Polly. You'll lose your heart's blood. Polly, she didn't pay no mind. She just went up to the top of that stairs. And when she got to the top of the stairs, she went in this little room. There was weird, bloody-looking stains all over the place. So Polly, she started leaving real quick. But she heard somebody coming outside. It was a woman moaning. And that parrot started squawking, Hi! She ran and she hid underneath the stairway. That man took come in dragging a woman. That woman was fighting. It was Polly's cousin. She was fighting, trying to get away. That man drug her up the stairs. That woman, she reached up and grabbed the stair post. The man brought out his sword and just whacked her hand right off. That hand fell right down into pretty Polly's apron. The man drug the woman on up the stairs and Polly could hear him up there murdering her. And that parrot started squawking, Run, pretty Polly, run! Polly said, shh, don't tell him I've been here and spare my life's blood. And then she ran home. Well, about a week after that, there was a big old party. Big old corn shucking party. Everybody all around came to it. That man, he was there. And of course, Pretty Polly, she was there too. Well, that man, he walked up to Pretty Polly. He said, why for didn't you come? Polly, she made up some excuse like she had to fix her hair or do her nails or something. So well, that feller, uh, after a while, those people, they started telling riddles and all like that. Polly said, I got a riddle. They said, okay, tell it. So Polly, she got to where she could keep an eye on that man. She said, oh, how my heart did break to see what a hole that fox did make. All night up in that lonesome pine, I thought I'd be number nine. When she finished that riddle, that fella, he kind of looked kind of pale. And then people started asking, saying, what's, what's the answer to that? Polly said, uh, I'll tell you later on. Well, a little later on, Polly, they started telling dreams and like that. And Polly, she said, I got a dream too. So they said, okay, tell me. She said, in my dream, I went up to his house, a fallen little trail of ashes. There wasn't nobody home but a parrot. I went in the house and I eat a lady's finger. That man came in, a dragon a woman. It was my cousin. He chopped off her hand and then he murdered my cousin. And the parrot said, run, pretty Polly, or you're the tenth that'll be. And when she finished telling that dream, that man, he looked paler still. And Polly, she reached down in her apron pocket, pulled out that dead woman's hand, slapped it on his knee and said, the sword cut the hand you see that Polly puts it on the fox's knee. When that man saw that woman's hand, he fainted. And Polly told how that wasn't a dream. And that was the truth. And they laid hold on that man and arrested him and he was put to death. Hum, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be keeping it well.
place for him too.